If you're one of the 76,000 fans heading to the Theatre of Dreams this evening, your journey there could end up being something of a nightmare. Dozens of cabbies from Salford begin a protest at 5 o'clock this evening. Though they won't actually cross the border into Trafford, their 10-mile-per-hour go-slow in Eccles, Chapel Street and in Salford Quays is time to cause even more than the usual matchday congestion on the roads near the ground. I do feel sorry for the fans. I want to watch the game myself, but, you know, and I think we'll win. Uh, but, you know, I do feel sorry for the fans and I do advise them to set out earlier because they may, well, we are certain that they will be um, traffic problems on the, arriving at the ground. Currently, the number of Hackney licences is capped at 79 for the whole of Salford. The council is now planning to remove that limit, but drivers aren't happy. If they put more cabs on, right, that means the customers that we get now are going to use other, other vehicles. We're all going to take home less money. But my livelihood has dropped drastically in the recession. So why, while there is a recession on, put plates on? It's just utter stupidity. This is the main taxi rank in Eccles and the drivers here say they have to wait long enough for passengers without facing extra competition for business if more licences are handed out. But what do people in Eccles think? Are there enough taxis or would they like to see more? There's enough. It's already the people who are they doing the taxi, I don't think they have enough business. I'd like to see a lot more taxis, and if I could, definitely. In a statement, Salford City Council said the proposal to lift the restrictions on the number of black hackney cabs in Salford follows national guidance issued by the government. This guidance says that there is no particular reason why hackney cab licences should be limited. As well as holding the protest, drivers are meeting with council bosses this evening to try and reach a compromise. Ben Bland, Channel M News.